Hey everybody, welcome to another plumbing video here on the Ashelmania TV YouTube channel. Something I want to go over real quick. Uh, we have a longer video about this explaining this, but for anybody that's in a hurry and is looking for quick answers on this, uh, switching everything over to PEX, whether you have CPVC, you have copper tubing, uh, or you're like us and you've got the old Quest and you want to get rid of it, and you had a problem with corrosion or anything like that, you're probably wondering, okay, I'm putting PEX in there. What's the best thing to use? What are my options for the, the connections, you know? Um, what you want to look at is, first of all, if you have an issue with corrosion, then probably the brass ones aren't going to work very well for you because anywhere we've had copper corrode, we've had brass shark bites corrode as well. So your other option is the plastic alloy fittings, which, um, you know, these are the main two you'll find at the big box stores as of right now, uh, Lowe's, Home Depot, your local hardware stores, the plastic alloy and the brass, again, most common you're going to find, um, the plastic alloy obviously is not going to corrode. The brass looks and feels real heavy duty, but there's a good chance of corrosion if you already have those problems. If you don't have problems with the corrosion, then brass would probably be your way to go. But what you also want to look at is what you're replacing. This is CPVC. If you're replacing CPVC, notice how the pipe goes into the fitting and the pipe goes into the fitting on this side, this fitting is on the outside. It's not restricting any water flow. The water can just go flying right through there unrestricted. You're switching over to PEX and your fittings are going to go inside the tubing. They're gonna go in there, you're gonna put a band around there, you're gonna tighten it up. So now you've got a bit of restriction because you've got something in the tubing. This is three quarter inch PEX tubing right here. And um, the, the ID, the standard ID inside diameter on your PEX tubing, 681 thousandths. This brass fitting right here, we measure the inside of it with a pair of calipers, and we are at 540 thousandths. So that's going to drop this down to just slightly over half an inch. So your three quarter inch PEX tubing is now allowing uh, enough water to flow through there to equal like half inch copper tubing. <laughs> you know, that's, that's a big restriction in flow. Your plastic alloy connections, they, they bottleneck it even more because the, um, the inside diameter is even smaller because the material is so thick to make this strong enough to hold up to everything. So I measure that with some calipers there and we're at 466 thousandths. So you're under a half inch when using the plastic alloy um, connections. Again, we're basing this on three quarter inch tubing. I have one here for half inch just to show you on a half inch, the inside diameter of the plastic alloy um, fittings, you're down to 325 thousandths, well below the half inch. Again, your three quarter inch is going down to right around a half inch or a little less than a half inch with either the brass or the plastic. And you might be saying, well, isn't there anything else? You know, what else could we use? Well, in some areas like ours, if you're lucky, you can find these. These are from a company called Plummies 304 stainless steel connectors. And these have the same ID as the brass fittings. So they're gonna be able to flow more than the plastic ones, but they're 304 stainless, so they're not gonna corrode. That's food grade stainless right there. That's the reason why it's food grade, because it's not going to corrode and it's not going to leach things into the water. And the other benefit for like here with your elbows, uh, this one here you can see, oh, well, it's a little bit bigger, right? You know, because it's not, it's not a full, it's not a 90 degree corner. It's radius. Give you an idea here, rather than just trying to babble on, I'll just show you. Instead of it being water, let's pretend it's your car. You got a, your road right here. You got your lane coming this way, your lane going that way. You're in this lane in your car and you want to go up here and make this corner, right? You have to come up here and pretty much stop and then go that way. It's too sharp of a corner to make, right? So your water's doing the same thing. Your water's coming down, hitting this, and then going that way. So it's coming down and getting all bottlenecked and going that way. There's enough pressure there to keep it going that way. But imagine if instead of that 90 degree, it was just a gradual curve. Coming along there in your car, slow down a little bit, but just keep on chugging right along, right? That's what you got here. It's just going to go right around. It's going to roll right around here. It's not coming and just hitting that and then have to decide which way to go or splashing back, it's being pushed right around. So you're going to get better flow because it's a larger diameter than 
uh, larger inside diameter than a plastic alloy and you're going to get better flow because it's not a sharp 90 degree angle like with the plastic alloy and the brass fittings you get the best of both worlds right there and the plummies 304 stainless steel fittings they cost more money but they're worth it have them in the t's as well um you know if, if you're saying well i'm not using three quarter inch what about half inch i showed you on this one here it drops down a good bit uh this is a half inch stainless steel valve here if we measure this it's just it's just a hair bigger inside uh we're at 300 and mm, about 356 thousandths there on the inside diameter of the stainless um for a half inch your brass would be the same way but the plastic again you're gonna you're gonna lose more water flow because it's uh, it's gonna be a smaller ID inside. So something to think, think about when you're putting your system together, especially if you're replacing CPVC or copper, where the water was able to flow right on through because your fittings were on the outside of the pipe, not on the inside. Um, any more information you need about this stuff? Uh, you got any questions? Just drop a comment on the video. Shoot us an email, TV at gmail.com. It's gonna do it for this video here. As always, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to this channel.